And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jalen the Tarantula Turner. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. And here we go. Leg kicks that's eating him alive. Punch over the top. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. Oh, the high kick lands. He got taken down. Turner gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Huge knee lands from the post. These boys are going at it. When guys actually go to their back, that means they're in trouble. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. And the left kick there with conviction. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice level change. Oh, lands a flush elbow. Good solid strike on the ground. Push kick there to the body. <laughs> Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, big elbows. Wow, huge head kick. Three minutes. That's a nice straight. He's got great kick. Oh! Oh! And back to his feet. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, flush with the water, you gotta go, you gotta go find a finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Back mount now. Get the ball here. Turner gets up, he is back on the feet here. And a cut has just opened up now on his forehead. Just over two minutes to go in round one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yes, the single collar tie now. For him there. Come on, come on now. Look at that, that's tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission D. Job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Out of range with that one. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice. Nicely done. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice strike. Oh! 
some spacing as they exit the clinch. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually build out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out of the space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has to be it. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. That single collar tie locked in. That was a big right hand, yeah. Takedown defense holds up. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Turner's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single crowd time. Oh, nice box. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one might be the source of that confidence. Everything is going great. You tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Some serious bruising going on in and around that right thigh. They want to check a leg kick or two. Back and forth we go. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, the high kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, missed on that one. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the barn. Uh -huh. Everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Under three minutes here to go round two. Didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. All you do is the job of the off the strike two. Turner getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Mm, nice. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Turner gets back up again. Nicely done. And they separate. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Oh, man, head to land. This is big. That's big. Beautiful. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and 
largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Oh, yeah. Strong series of committed elbows here. Those are starting to add up. Elbows landing now. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. He's looking for that left hand. Oh, my goodness. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Oh! All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job. Going exactly where he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load the ground and put him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a round it was for him. Two knockdowns there. I'm not sure if the opposite corner is going to throw in the towel, if the doctor is going to come in, but he is hurting for certain. I mean, they've got to look at it, right? They've got to look at their fighter. And sometimes you have to save your fighter from himself. Right. He's always going to get up. He showed that. But he has been outclassed in round number one. He has to either change something or show his coaches that he is going to do something different or they can't send him back out there. You ready? You ready? Go. Third round underway. Oh, nice takedown defense. Lands a big elbow there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Well, oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You gotta be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takes. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, slip reversal right there. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Setting up an arm bar now. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. And now he's got the back. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, fighter lands a punch to the head out of the clinch position. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Well, this 
This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh! Gets back to his feet. Now goes in and secures the takedown. So it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done it. Oh, goes down again. Big, big strikes continue to land. Yeah, but way to get that KO. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magic Man. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out.